Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the six, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fatal Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's Legend Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Spanish Real Madrid legend, uh, Fernando Hero, guys. He is in the 4-5-1 formation with a full Real Madrid team. Obviously, that's what he was known for, uh, was with Real Madrid, and he is also known for scoring goals. This guy scored a boatload of goals um, for being a defender, and it was really, really impressive. I looked at his stats. It's just really incredible how many goals he scored. And on this game, guys, it translates. His ability on corner, his ability to shoot, his ability to work his way upfield. Uh, Fernando Hiro does a very good job of that, guys. And this is a really fun card to play with. We're now going to go ahead and take a look at his face card stats. 70 pace, 67 shot, 70 passing, 72 dribbling, 89 defense, and 83 physical. He has a three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, and a medium-high work rate. And in the six games I played with him, I scored a one goal, which isn't really um, a, a telltale sign of what this guy can do. Um, corners are kind of hard for me in this game. I haven't really been good at them. Um, but if you are good at corners and you're good at crossing it in to a good header, Hiero will definitely be your guy. The goal that I scored with him, he actually worked up field and pounded it top bin. It was pretty nice. And like I said, guys, I definitely had fun playing with this card. Fernando Hiero is something else from a defender, and I really, really enjoyed him. Um, but we're now going to go ahead and take a look at his in-game stats and then the highlights right after that. So we're now going to go ahead and take a look at Fernando Hierro's in-game stats, guys. 91 interceptions, 84 reactions, 88 strength. He also has 92 heading accuracy, 88 long passing, 89 marking, and 82 shot power with a 3-star weak foot, 2-star skill moves, that medium high work rate, along with aerial threat, tackling, tactician, strength, complete defender specialities, and that power header and team player trait. Oh, this guy is a beast in the air and on offense as a defender. So we're going to get into some gameplay now, guys, and get straight into the pros and cons of Fernando Hierro. My first pro for Hierro is his offensive ability. With his medium-high work rate, he is able to come forward and hustle back on defense. His, big, his biggest presence, however, is on corners. With the power header trait and 92 heading accuracy, if you're any good on corners, this is your guy. Cross it into him, and I guarantee he'll net it for you. Me, well, I'm not that good at corners, so it's kind of hard to exploit this pro. Yet, I did like the way Hiero was able to get upfield, and you'll see in the highlights, often after a slide tackle, he'd get the ball and make his way forward, opening up play for the players in front of him. My second pro for Hiero is his tackling. With an 88 standing tackling and an 85 slide, slide tackling rating, excuse me, this dude is ferocious on the back line. He also has a 91 interception rating, which is huge for coming up and picking off passes. His big frame and strength allows him to make crunching tackles, and don't let this guy fool you. He may be great offensively, but he's equally as good defensively. The best of both worlds, really. My third pro for Fernando Hierro is his passing. Now, his stats for passing aren't out of this world. However, he does have an 88 long passing rating, um, and in one of the six games I actually played, he had completed 18 of 19 passes, which is really unbelievable numbers for a center back. Uh, you can look for this guy to make an interception or a tackle, get up quickly, and get on the counterattack, start it up, um, often by making a nice build-up pass. Hero really is a good setup, man. Now, I only have one con for Hero, and this really does not show up at the start of games, but more near the end of games, and you can definitely tell Hero isn't one of the fastest legend defenders. With 70, uh, 70 pace, he isn't exactly the slowest either, um, but like I said, at the end of games, he lacks pace, and this can sort of negate his ability to get upfield as well as get back in time on defense um, from his corners. Yet when his pace isn't affecting his play, his offensive ability, uh, tackling and passing make Hiro a great center back for any team. Like I said, if you're any good on corners, please, 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 I beg you, pick this guy up. Him and Desai are, for me, the deadliest in corners on this game and like I said, I was not really good at it, so it's kind of hard to exploit it and show you guys. But there were a couple times where he did get them on goal, and he definitely had an impact on corners, and that was Hero's probably biggest pro. 
So this is now going to take me into the overall summary of the card. And out of a 10 scale rating, I think that Fernando Hierro does, deserves an 8.5 out of 10. His pros and cons are listed as well as the games played, goals scored, pass completion percentage, tackles one percentage, and his average match rating. While on defense, Hierro and the rest of the defense held an impressive goals against average of 1.33. Uh, which means I really only need to score two goals a game, which I definitely think that I can do. Uh, his offensive ability, both on corners and bringing up the field, along with his tackling and passing, make Hero a lethal center back fit for any team. So up next in my review, guys, we have the double review of bitter rivals Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira. These two, regardless of the real-life rivalry, were nearly unbeatable in the center of the field, um, so I'm sure you guys will be looking forward to those reviews. I mean, in the comments below, guys, I would love to hear some ideas for another possible giveaway. I was thinking with the Champions League coming up, either doing a Champions League, Champions League simulation on FIFA or maybe even Pez because they do have the rights for UCL. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out this review. And until next time, I will talk to you later. You play me.